Today we're going to be covering airless versus air assist airless paint sprayers. It's a common question we get, which one would be better for my need or my application. We'll show you both here. The paint we're using is equivalent to about a latex paint, so it's a mid viscosity paint. And you can kind of see what some of the benefits over, of air assist over airless are. Uh, some of the, and when you choose an airless gun, the, it's very high and fast production, and an air assist is similar to that. Our particular air assist here does have a twist tip. If yours doesn't come with a twist tip as an option, you can run into some challenges with plugging of the tip, which can be slow things down if you need to clear a plug regularly. Uh, they do tend to plug a little more than a pure airless, so that's something to consider, but that can sometimes be overcome either by using a slightly larger tip or, or through good maintenance of equipment. But we'll show you the difference in spray and how much pressure we're using to get a similar result so you can kind of see where the benefits come in. All right, so the main benefits of air assist over airless, you can get a slightly finer finish. It's well suited for wood coatings, wood finishes, and fine finish work that you need speed but want a little bit better breakup. Additionally, you use a little less fluid pressure typically to break the same paint up compared to an airless because you do have an assist air going into the paint, which helps give a little bit of extra atomization. What you'll see here is the airless. This is being used as an airless. I don't have any assist air on. My pressure is around 40 pounds on my pump. You can see I get a pretty good result, but at the ends of my pattern, I'm starting to get a little bit of a line. That's mainly because my pressure as it is is a little lower. Now if I turn it up, at that point I'm at about 50 pounds of pressure. I am getting rid of the edges of my line. Comparatively, if I use it as an air assist, I can maintain a fluid pressure around 40 and turn on my assist there, which will help both with the, a little bit finer breakup and it, you should see that those, those edges go away. So you can see comparatively, I don't have any line at the edge of my pattern. It's a very full pattern. I also have less fluid pressure. I'm at about 40 pounds. And additionally, I'm getting a little bit better breakup. That can be a little hard to see. This is some, similar to a latex paint. But you can see over here slightly where there's a little bit more coarseness to the pattern compared to there. And that's typically what the benefits you get with the air assist. Less pressure of fluid pressure, which reduces waste, a little bit of a finer finish, and similar in speed, a little slower sometimes. The main drawbacks, if you don't have a twist tip, you can deal with plugs and that slows you down and can be problematic if you have paint that clogs your tip regularly and the cost of the gun is a lot more typically than a pure airless gun.